Yo, what's up guys? This is Addicting Arts and I'm here today with my 10th Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, you guys will be learning how to add a selective coloring effect and a black and white effect to your photos. Both great effects that really uh, enhance your photos to the best of their capabilities. So we're just going to open up Photoshop and open up whatever image you're working on. This image is just a um, tulip, a reddish orange tulip with some water drops on it. And my main focal point will just be the big flower right here. So we're going to begin by duplicating the original photo layer by either pressing Command J on a Mac or just dragging the layer on top of the new layer button and duplicating it that way. On the duplicated layer we're going to make it black and white by going to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation and dragging Saturation, 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 yeah I said it right, all the way to the bottom or to negative 100 and click OK. Now on this layer you just want to create a mask on it. It's uh, The button to do that is right of effects and left of the striped circle. Just click it, it looks kind of like a Japanese flag. Now while your foreground color is set to black, you want to grab your brush tool and you can use a brush, one of the default brushes, with a softness of zero and, oop, wrong button, and you can just start coloring in or I guess deleting the color in here. And depending on the, or, and if you're working for a client or working on a personal project or something, I suggest doing it a little more accurate but just for the tutorial I'm going to be doing it a little rough but you get the idea now when I have this done you can tell the main focal point now is just the big flower and everything else is black and white it really brings attention to that one main spot um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, both effects the black and white and the color selective area or the color selective part of the tutorial are both great ways to enhance your photos and they really do make your pictures a lot nicer so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did just please like and comment for me and if you could just please request some tutorials I'll always be happy to do them for you thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one addicting arts out